after months of lying to my face, shutting me out, you show up on my couch. Ready to have heart to heart? I think it's a little too late, Jason. I made my choice, you made yours. There's nothing left to say to each other. I found the man from the park. And I know you paid them to threaten Elizabeth and my son. Did you honestly think I wouldn't find out? Those men were paid to scare Elizabeth, not hurt her. They pulled a gun. The cops would have shown up. Who knows what could have happened. Cam and Jake could have been caught in the crossfire. I was there to make sure that didn't happen, Jason. So the way I see it, I did you a favor by staging that incident in the park. Elizabeth got a wake-up call before it's too late. So instead of standing here confronting me, you should be thanking me for saving your son from the real danger. Which would be you? If you think that I am wrong about the danger and you're willing to risk Elizabeth's life to be with your son or have one or both of them shot in your arms, then just say so, Jason. I will march down to her right now and tell her I set that whole thing up. You know as well as I do, you said it yourself. Elizabeth and Jake, and don't forget Cameron, will never be safe with you. You stood by. While Jake was kidnapped, you hired two men to threaten Elizabeth at gunpoint while her children watch. What is wrong with you? You want revenge? You want to be angry at somebody? You be angry at me. Jason, I gave up everything to be with you. I was shot because of you. I cannot have kids because of you. And then you go and have one with Elizabeth? You stay away from Elizabeth. Don't go near her children or her again. What are you, threatening? If you hurt them again in any way, I will kill you. I trust that Stone Cold's weapon of choice is being returned to the confines of its securely locked box, cold and unused. But clearly, Samantha made a gross error in judgment, hiring the threatening ones to menace Fair Elizabeth and your progeny in the park. But look, I, I, I just have to believe that it was done out of hurt and I anger, and that it's not about Sam. So you need to do everything you can to make sure that she stays as far away from Elizabeth and my son as possible. And what if Samantha chooses not to listen? The jackal will use his considerable pull as Samantha's friend and former roommate to urge her to abandon thoughts of retribution against Fair Elizabeth. And in the meantime, while I'm brokering the peace, you can inform the maternal one that she and her sons were never in any real danger. I'm not going to say anything to Elizabeth. Why not? Stone Cold, if, if Elizabeth learns the truth, she'll no doubt be more comfortable allowing contact between you and baby Jacob. Doesn't Martin. matter. I'm not going to be seeing him again. What do you want? 
should know, Sam hired Lucky Spencer to be her personal bodyguard. Seems she is very concerned for her personal safety now that the two of you are no longer together. I give it a week, maybe two, before she gets Lucky in the bed. Why are you telling me this? Elizabeth is going to need someone to console her, and since the two of you already share a son, you're the obvious choice. And yes, my primary interest is to watch Sam choke on her jealousy and frustration. While she sleeps with second best and the man that got away lives happily ever after. It's what we in the business refer to as a Hollywood ending. And it's exactly what Sam deserves. I am grateful for the help you've given me. You know, at the trial, especially finding my son. But what I do... It doesn't entitle me... To use your personal life as an instrument of my revenge? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll spare you any further updates of Sam's seduction of Lucky, although I don't imagine it will take very long. As long as you're here, I need to know for sure that you will never tell anyone that Jake is my son. That little boy has already been kidnapped once. That is enough danger for a lifetime. If you think he's safer being raised as Lucky Spencer's son, who am I to argue? I'll keep your secret, Jason. If only because I'd rather not have you think of me as someone you need to shut up. I wouldn't be too sure about Sam, though. Obviously, I'm biased, yes, but Sam is hurt and angry and somehow thinks of herself as a victim in all of this. She will do anything she can to hurt you, even if she has to use your son to do it.